Finally, out and joined by Wichita State head coach Greg Marshall. Coach, big second half from your freshman Dexter Dennis. What was the impact of his performance on this game? Well, he he was rebounding it obviously at a high level, as was Marcus. We were pounding the offensive glass. Um, but but uh, Dexter Dennis showed the ability to put the ball on the floor. Uh, that's that's a skill that he's been working on. It's not been something he had coming in the door. He could could really run and jump, and he could shoot the three. But putting the ball on the floor is going to really take his game to another level. I think you saw that in the second half. Marcus McDuffie was able to have an unbelievable performance tonight, really dominating and leading this team. How important is it for Marcus to show up, especially in these postseason situations when it's winter go home? Yeah, you have to have your seniors uh, do that. And I, Marcus was fantastic. I mean, he, he played like a guy that's going to play for a lot of money one day, and, uh, and that he will. I mean, he, he made money tonight. There was, had to be people that were watching him going, gosh, he can play at the highest level. Um, Samaja Haynes Jones, don't forget the other senior. He did a marvelous job on Shiz Austin, a, a fantastic performer in his own right. Samaje uh, was denying Shiz's touches because he dominated the first half with 18 points. So I don't want to forget the other little senior. He, and both of these guys are used to being in the NCAA tournament and are doing everything that they can uh, in, in postseason now so that we can get back. This was a close battle, just as it was in the regular season. Different outcome this time around. What ultimately was the difference? Well, we didn't we didn't just give it away. I mean, Temple made great plays. I want to start by saying that they made some great plays at the end of the game at our place. But but we were horrible with our decision making, and we looked to be a little bit like that tonight. I mean, uh, at one point we had an over and back in transition. Uh, we threw the ball away on a couple of uh, blobs, and and we just you can't do that. And uh, we it, so I, at a appeared we were going to give it away and then ultimately we made some big shots some big plays and we made a couple of calls where we got a couple of easy ones survive and advance here in the conference tournament taking on the two seed Cincinnati tomorrow your team has won 11 of its last 13 what's clicking well, we've just gotten better. I mean, when you start the season with 10 of your 13 scholarship players who've never played a second of Division I basketball, it's going to be helter-skelter and ugly at times, and it has been. And there's still glimmers of that. You know, we, we still have plays where you just shake your head and go, man, that's youth and inexperience. But at this point, these guys have played so many minutes, they've got to consider themselves now uh, not no longer freshmen and no longer first-year players. So uh, Cincinnati's a tremendous challenge. They're a great, great team, great athletes. Maybe the best athletic team in the league with their length, their size, the way that they can run and jump, and their defense is incredible. Mick does a wonderful job. So we're going to have to play another tremendous game against a well-coached team. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thanks. I'm now joined by Wichita State forward Marcus McDuffie. Marcus, 34 points, 12 rebounds. How were you able to elevate your game to an all-new level tonight when your team needed you the most? It's just me believing in myself and just you know, putting this team on my back, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm the senior, you know, and I don't have many games left, you know, and, you know, this is towards the end. So, like I told you yesterday, I'm just cherishing the moments I'm here and just going, playing all out. Last time out against Temple, your team lost in overtime on your home court. Fairly even battle tonight. What ultimately allowed your team to pull through in the end? We just had to battle, you know. We weren't, in the first couple of minutes, you know, we weren't playing soccer, basketball, and towards the end of the first half and in the second half, you know, we just turned it on. You know, that's, you know, just us, you know, just taking it to another level. You know, sometimes, you know, with a team like this, you just got to, you know, get on them for get on them, you know, and they're going to, you know, just turn the turn the light on. This team is playing its best basketball of the year. How much belief does your group have heading into the semifinal? We have so much belief right now, and um, Coach has been so patient with us all year, and he has been encouraging us, and, you know, we really appreciate him for putting us in this position. And, you know, me and Samaje, we just been trying to, you know, take these guys and, and just make sure they're doing what they have to do, and they really are. And, I'm, you know, we just think we can do big things. You're a senior. You've been through a lot of adversity throughout your collegiate career. Mm -hmm. How much are you truly soaking in each and every moment in these winner go home situations? Oh, man, I'm just soaking in by just playing all out. That's how I'm, you know, giving it. You know, that's how I'm taking it, and I'm just going all out. You know, I wanted my last game to be something special, you know, whenever that is. And, you know, I'm just, you know, just blessed right now, and I'm just, you know, just keep on playing, <laughs> just keep on playing, seeing how far we can go with it. Thanks, Marcus. Good luck. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.